Hello, my dear friends of healthy hair and skincare. Today I'm going to talk to you about, well, some sort of a personal matter and um, which I really, or which really moved me. Um, I know the audience probably of this video will be rather small, uh, which is unfortunate because uh, the person I'm going to talk about today uh, is actually such a great guy and um, he hasn't uploaded videos or has been active on social media for quite a few years, although he was such a yeah great person, especially for people who had in the hair product pomade community been involved in from the early years. Uh, the person I'm talking about is Cameron Alexander, aka Cameron A. Uh, he was actually a guy who contributed to a good and certain amount to my personal motivation uh, doing videos on YouTube actually. Why? This guy was an absolutely beast by his character. You know, he presented pomades like nobody else did. It was very authentic in his manners. He was very authentic in the way he gave his opinion on the stuff that he used, his stuff, the stuff that he presented. And um, I absolutely loved his videos. Um, as you may know from my background, you know, I said to myself and I gave myself the promise I'm only going doing YouTube videos when I have a solution for my hair loss, which, you know, was pretty severe. I was almost getting bald uh, at that early stage. And pomade, as many of you might have already uh, figured out by my channel, was one strong contributing factor who basically let me regrow my hair. I know Finasteride and um, certain um, nutritions at it as well, but again, oil and wax-based pomades were a huge contributing factor. And as some of you know, I'm working in the healthcare industry, maybe I phrase it like this, and uh, you know, for me, my motivation was also there are less knowledge about especially the importance of the ingredients that hair products contain and how potent or powerful certain ingredients can be. Unfortunately, Cameron, left after his last review about the old outs water-based, or reformulated old outs water-based years ago. And I've really thought it's a pity because to date, I'm still enjoying his videos and I'm, you know, repetitively watching them. I absolutely love the way he presented the products. I absolutely love the way he presented his opinion. And I still think that such unbiased people are such a rare phenomenon, especially in all these YouTube uh, presenters or reviewers that gave their opinion on products. Again, I know I'm talking to a limited amount of people, which, is, which are quite a few, but um, I thought today I'd bring my thoughts and a bit of sorrow uh, to the internet because um, he was he was great. I send him messages via the the mail and ask him he might come back. Uh, the reason, by the way, why he left was um, there is a how can I say a myth, and unfortunately not fact checked opinion that circulates, especially on certain home pages, about the effect that pomade or hair products have on your scalp skin. Um, and that is that the products, especially oil and wax based pomades, clot the pores of your scalp skin, which unfortunately is a huge bullshit. But it is something that circulates and certain people, unfortunately by their rather unfact checked background, adapt and come across with. He complained in a, in a video, or not complained really, but he just said that, you know, he is suffering from hair loss. And, you know, basically, exactly my channel is about that. And, you know, I was a year ago at that point where I desperately wanted to get in contact with him and just help him and say, okay, dude, you know, you can solve this. You can actually, you know, progress with the YouTube channel. However, as a man having or suffering hair loss is associated usually with a few, with a few steps of decisions that you have to make and you have to be comfortable with. One is, for example, taking fenesteride. Uh, the second one is uh, 
using all in wax based pomades. Why again, there's no product, absolutely no product that uh, mimics or simulates the natural skin layer more better or more efficiently than an oil and wax base does. And why is this needed? Because you know, by our personal hygiene, and I guess everybody who's watching this showers at least, at least once a day, which is absolutely okay, but you have to uh, reapply certain substances that again help your skin regenerate over a short period of time and the oil and wax based pomades are basically this. Unfortunately he didn't see it that way and thought that pomades clot his scalp skin pores and lead to his hair loss. And unfortunately he left almost three years ago YouTube. And you know for me personally I thought that was that is such a pity and it's such a shame that you know such a good character and such a good person does not return to YouTube. Maybe whoever sees this video can move him to come back. Maybe he might see this video and you know might find motivation to come back or to even you know watch my videos because I was basically in the same position. And Maybe he takes the decision to regrow his hair if the hair loss he suffers is severe. However, because, you know, as a bald guy reviewing pomades is probably not the best combination. But uh, again, uh, I hope the best for him. I hope you're doing well. And I hope to see you in the future in at least a few videos. Until then, and to all of the rest of you, take care and goodbye.